Now that the car's upside down, I can fix the uh, other things I couldn't get to before. Um, I fixed the chassis rail on that side, that's done. And I was just about to fix this one. This is what happens with a lot of Tiranas. The chassis rail, uh, where the K-frame bolts onto the chassis rail rots out. So I was fortunate enough to, I had one that I fixed that side. And Greg Tirana just sent me this one that he had spare. I just cleaned it up. And I'm about to fit it in there. This section of the chassis rail is just about ready to weld on. Um, I put some backing plates inside there. Um, mostly so it'll just hold this exactly where I want it. It was difficult to cut to the exact shape um, just because of the angle and everything. Um, so I put those plates in there and that just guides this steel so it'll just sit exactly where I want it. Nice and flat and even. And also it just helps a little bit on the bits where you're stuffed up. See where I cut it a little bit too far. It'll just make it easier to weld. It would still be easy to weld without it, but it'll just make it that little bit easier. And inside, treated it with KBS, still wet, as you can see. Um, and just sprayed some primer on in there. Later on, I think I'll put some cavity wax or something right throughout the whole chassis rail. But just leave it like this for now. And that's it, ready to weld in. Chassis rails are done. I'm wrapped with how easy it was. I thought this was gonna be a nightmare, but it was actually pretty easy. So that's one thing, another thing out the way. And now I'm either gonna jump onto this bit of rust here or I'm going to put these, connect these bits up, which I still haven't done. Or I might even just do them both at the same time. I just bought this trolley for the welder, which is well worth the 65 bucks or whatever it costs to buy it. Uh, at least I don't have to drag this thing around all the time now. And especially if I go and use it out in the yard, I can just, it's got wheels, so I can just cart it out there. Should make life a little bit easier. Um, now back to the car, I'm putting the quarters on. Now I've clamped them under here, and that's where they're supposed to be spot welded. But because I don't have a spot welder, I'm gonna have to just weld that seam. See, I've got a screw there to hold it in place. I'm just gonna have to weld that seam along there. It's got the bottom of the quarters welded in. It's supposed to be spot welded across here, but because I don't have a spot welder, I've just welded it from the other side. Um, it looks a bit ugly because it's so hard to reach, but I've just welded it right across the top where the two edges meet. Um, welding up rust holes here at the moment. Another one. Here, another one there, welded up. And this corner's rotted out, so I just got this patch panel from Rare Spares. And it looks like it's gonna fit okay, but I'll see when I cut the bits out and try and line them up. And while I was out, I went and bought some proper paint stripper. So I'll give that a go a bit later on. Time to put the gutters on, and I've just tacked this just so it stays there while I try and line this up properly. The little bugger's hard to get. Every time you think you got it right, you look at it from another angle and it's slightly twisted. So I'm gonna have to hold it for pliers or something and try and weld it. And then I've got the other side. I made a bit of a mess of this one. So I might either, I'll either fix this or I'll put this other one, which is a little bit short, but I'll either cut a little bit of that to add to that or I'll fix this one I'm not sure yet and I just 
just got to weld underneath of the dash. And that's it for the moment. Well, that side was easy. So there you go. Just had a little hole I had to fill up there. And that side's on. Um, but like I said, that was the easy one. Now the other side, this one's a little bit messed up. I'll see how I go with it. Just making some patches here for the sill. I got this one just tacked in, ready to weld. Made another little one here. And I'm gonna put another little piece here. Um, these holes, I probably should cut it out, but I'm just gonna weld them. It's pretty thick steel here, so I'm, not, I'm just gonna fill them up with weld. And they should be fine. And along here, I'm still debating if I cut this whole bit out, just put a fresh piece of steel in, or if I can plug them up with the MIG. I'll give it a go, and if it looks like the steel around it's too thin, um, then I'll just cut a section out of it. Now that a lot of the major repairs are done, on the body anyway, um, I'm gonna strip all the paint off, get it in some primer, and then I can start to get into fine details, fixing little bits here and there that need attention. And then once I've got all that sorted, then I can start on all the panels that have got to go onto it. So they can just sit and wait for a while until I've got all this in primer. And yeah, I'll just take it from there. It's been sitting for about an hour now. It's coming off pretty good. So, what doesn't come off like this, I might just get the sandblaster and lightly, um, just lightly go over it with the sandblaster. But at least the bulk of it's coming off pretty easily. Just put the second coat on. And this stuff's frying up easy. So I thought that was gonna be a nightmare to scrape off, but with the paint stripper, it's just dropping off. And now I wait for that to go off. I've just been thinking, I'm gonna put an LS1 in this to get it registered, but I want I want to get an LS7 for my ute. So I'm thinking this six litre that's in this, which is a pretty good one, I'll start it up. Yeah. it all down with prep salt just to clean a lot of the um, paint stripper off 
Found a little bit more rust up there, hidden by bog. So that's another job to do. Um, and look at all the rust that was under this primer that Holden put on. I mean, it'll come off easy, but it's surprising to see that. Um, yeah, go around. I did the underneath of the car as well. Um, see, it's nearly like 90% off. So tomorrow with the sandblaster, it should be easy. I should be able to just lightly go over everything and hopefully that should do the trick. And that's it for now. Spent two days stripping the paint off. This is where I'm at. The underneath's practically ready to paint. And this is a reason why you, it's probably good to sandblast your car and strip everything before you start doing the repairs. You can see more rust. That's a sandblast and I found the bulk and then under the bulk, there it is. So it looks like I've got to fix that. So tomorrow I'll get into that. And then hopefully, as soon as I do that, I can prime the car, paint the underneath, and then get started on this stuff. <laughs> 